Winner of last year's BAFTA Young Presenter Competition, Brayden. Hello, sir. Hiya, how are you doing? I'm doing really, really good. I'm just so happy to meet you. You're like, you've got a great reputation, you know? Well, thank you. I think you're better, though. Oh, look at you. Such a charmer. Look, tell me, why do you want to be a presenter? So, I mean, well, you are a presenter, but what do you love so much about presenting? Well, uh, first of all, I love being on camera. Um, and I just, I like talking, which is the main thing. And once I st talk, start talking, you can't get me to stop. And I, I love the feel of standing tall with the microphone as well. It, it makes you feel very, very excited and quite a big thing. You feel like a superhero, don't you? Yeah, well, it's true. You know the feeling, don't you? I know it all too well, but I think we should uh, have a little look at why you're so great. Do you want to do that? Yeah, definitely. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Braden, and I won last year's BAFTA Kids Young Presenter Competition. Welcoming you to the 22nd British Academy Children's Awards. What do you think of this? BAFTA's Kids Young Presenter Dressing Room. How cool is that? Amazing! If you could be a superhero, which one would you be? Um, hmm, that's a good question. You're just about to do a Guinness World Record. You look amazing. Thank you, so do you. Makeup's, well. look, makeup's coming on. Oh, it's coming coming on, on, isn't it? Coming on. <laughs> it's coming on. Yet. Hi, Burbert, how are you doing? Oh, Brayden, I'm really well, thanks. All the better for meeting you. All the better for meeting you on your birthday. High five for birthdays. Thank you. I'm a little bit annoyed I don't look as cool as you. This, this, this worries me. Maybe. Really? Are Maybe. you going to test me? Maybe. Old lady brain ain't up for that. Who inspired you to be um, who you are today? Not necessarily telly people. Like, I think just the people around me when I was growing up were really curious. And I love people, so I want to find out everything about them. So if I walk into a room, whether it's here with you, or if I walk into a room in Cambodia, and there are, it doesn't matter because I just want to go, right, who are you? What's your name? What's your family like? What are you eating? Can I try some of it? Can I sit down there? Why have I sat in a cow pat and goodbye? And those are the things I want to know. I have sat in a cow pat. <laughs> yeah, I love it. That's it. I love that. Love it. What TV programmes would you, would you say are worth staying up for? Well, for me, it's Game of Thrones, which you might be a bit too young for, but when you're older, you're going to love it because it's dragons and it's a bit of swearing and it's a bit of drinking and then more dragons and fighting and exuberance and love and magic. It's swearing. Ooh. Yeah. Know, yeah. So but the thing is that you're mentally a lot older than I am and a lot more mature. So for me, <laughs> I still get a thrill out of swearing, but I love a cop show. I love a cop show. I don't care what it is. It can be Broadchurch or it can be an Agatha Christie cop show. I love them. I, I, even if I know who the murderer is, I will sit through it. I don't even care if it's Midsummer Murders. I've got to see it through. I love a thriller. I love a thriller. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you. See, from that, we can totally see uh, why you won the BAFTA Young Presenter competition. Are you, do, you must feel pretty proud. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really proud to get this. I wasn't really expecting to get it because I was just interviewing my dad about a movie. I, I, it was just amazing when I got it. I was playing FIFA at the time and then my mum came in shouting, you've got it, you've got it, and then I ended up throwing the remote control on the floor. It was fantastic. But you managed to get a new remote control, right? Yeah, in the end, eventually. So it was all worth it because here you are. Yeah. It. On the red carpet at the BAFTA, so tell me, Braden, who is in your kind of top three people that you'd love to interview? Well, number one, it's got to be you, hasn't it? Because <laughs> you are like one of the most amazing radio presenters, so it's got to be Clara. And then let's go, Deck, because ever since I've saw him on TV, he's been one of the people who's inspired me. And then number three, um, probably. Benedict, because um, my, me and my, my mum and dad always watch him on Sky One and say, oh, he's such a good one, so I'd like to meet them. But it's got to be you first, though, hasn't it? You are such a little charmer. I think you're going to go very far in this business. Well, look, I'm going to let you uh, rock the rest of the red carpet because I reckon there's lots more people that want to talk to you, but you have an amazing night, all right? Yeah, thank you. You too. Wow. <laughs> amazing. That was great. You're thank fantastic. You. So are you.